Hello and welcome to Shelter Mode, the premier YouTube channel for shipping container living. In this video, we bring to you a low cost shipping container housing project in Barcelona, Spain. Stay tuned to find out more about this innovative housing project built using shipping containers to provide affordable accommodation for the city of Barcelona. Welcome back. This five-story building is a compact residential complex of 12 dwellings built using shipping containers as an alternative model for provisional proximity accommodations in the city of Barcelona, Spain. The block uses a modular structure made up of 16 reconditioned shipping containers pieced together to create a five-story building with 12 housing units. The container modules sit on a steel frame to free up the ground floor space for community services with housing units starting on the first floor level. The entire construction process took only seven months. The containers were modified and fabricated at the workshop, complete with insulation, installations, and interior coatings within three months. The containers were later moved to site and assembled, completed for occupation within a period of four months. The total project cost was 940,000 euros. This modular construction system allows for dismantling of the project and rebuilding it elsewhere when the allotted time of four years elapses. The complex comprises 12 housing units with four two-bedroom units and eight one-bedroom units. The circulation core with a steel staircase and an elevator are strategically placed next to the party wall, providing a convenient interaction with the neighboring building and guaranteeing access to all units through a walkway with steel balustrading large enough for circulation and other domestic uses. The one bedroom unit measures 30 square meters of habitable space. The one bedroom housing unit features a wet core comprising a fully fitted kitchenette with all essential appliances and a spacious bathroom in the middle of the unit. There is a sizable living room with a sitting area and a dining space at the front of the unit. A small passage in the middle past the wet core leads to a spacious bedroom at the rear of the unit. The living room and the bedroom space are fitted with floor to ceiling windows for maximum daylighting and cross ventilation. The bedroom has access to a small private balcony with steel balustrading behind the translucent polycarbonate screen. On the other hand, the two bedroom units measures 60 square meters of habitable space. Similarly, a wet core comprising a fully fitted kitchenette with all the essential appliances and a spacious bathroom are accommodated in the middle of the unit. There is a big living space on the front with a cozy sitting area furnished with a sofa and some easy chairs, plus a dining table that can comfortably sit five on the far end of the living space. A small passageway through the galley kitchen past the wet core serves two spacious bedrooms at the rear of the unit. The children's bedroom is big enough to accommodate a bed, a wardrobe storage, and a small reading or dressing table. The children's bedroom can also accommodate a bunk bed if necessary, or fitted with a foldable wall-mounted table 
to create enough space. The master bedroom is equally spacious to accommodate a queen bed and wardrobe space. The master bedroom has a big glass window which fills the space with adequate daylighting to create an illusion of a very big space. The living room and the bedrooms are fitted with floor to ceiling windows for maximum daylighting and restricted access and cross ventilation. The children's bedroom has access to a small private balcony with steel balustrading behind the translucent polycarbonate screen. All the housing units are equipped with underflow heating system for optimum energy efficiency. The housing units are nicely finished with basic finishes that are aesthetically appealing and appropriate. The interior walls are painted white to make the spaces appear bigger, brighter and spacious, creating an illusion of a big indoor space. The floors are shiny and hard wearing for easy cleaning and maintenance. All the housing units have been designed with a northeast southeast orientation to allow for natural ventilation with maximum solar harvesting in the cold seasons. Every housing unit has at least two facades with fenestrations to allow for cross ventilation, hence minimizing the demand for mechanical ventilation. Around this compact volume, the front-facing facades are covered with the translucent polycarbonate screen to allow for maximum daylighting, intimate spaces for private balconies, and to provide privacy from the street. This double screen serves as a separator between the external environment and the containers, causing a greenhouse effect with many climatic and spatial advantages. On the east facade, facing the historic buildings, the openings in the polycarbonate skin complement the architecture and the character of the neighborhood, using the vertical balconies with wooden frames and metal railings to be private balconies. The translucent skin has some interesting effects of brightness, shadows and reflections of the sky and the colors of the neighboring buildings. At the same time, it allows the passers-by to perceive the life inside the box without sacrificing the privacy of the inhabitants. At night, the polycarbonate structure glows like a big lantern, creating a subtle focus of light for this area of the neighborhood. On the south-facing facade, the polycarbonate screen serves more as a sun-shading device, both in terms of the urban context and the orientation. The response comes in form of large openings which maximize the entry of sunlight into the units. The entry of sunlight from this facade is modulated by simple wooden blinds to mimic most of the neighboring balconies in the Qtat Fela. The translucency of the polycarbonate screen also generates a pleasant image from the street by highlighting the outline of the staircase and the silhouettes of the people going up and down the stairs visible from the street. The building has a partial setback on the ground floor to provide a covered recess for an entrance porch. The ground floor level is reserved for management, shared facilities, and for community spaces for the residents and the neighborhood. The structure is very open and transparent on the ground floor with a direct exit to the square, allowing for easy interaction with the neighborhood. This shipping container project is an amazing illustration on how municipalities and urban authorities can use shipping containers to provide affordable housing and accommodation for the vulnerable communities within an urban context. Which part of this amazing housing project appeals to you the most? Kindly give us your opinion by posting in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. You are encouraged to subscribe to this and more amazing weekly videos on shipping container living. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. If you want to learn more about shipping container living, please subscribe and remember to click the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. If you have a shipping container project or a container rental, you can have it featured on our YouTube channel absolutely free. Kindly get in touch on our website sheltermod.com or contact us at sheltermod on all social media pages. Without further ado, let's get started.